Okay guys, uh, we're going to do some battery removal and I think I've done a brief video on how I break these open but I don't think I've done it to the point of where I get these out and then I get the cells out and then I break it down from there so I thought I would do a little video here of showing how I uh, do this process so uh, fairly simple <coughs> I pry these out most time this right here will pull off I just toss that in the trash can pull this out there we go I might need to tilt this just a hair more there we go that makes it better anyways uh, got some side cuts and try not to drop them as I did and just go in here and cut these wires so there's not much of a charge on them most all these come you know they're fa fairly you know close to being dead but they're not dead but they just ain't got a lot of charge in them and that's mainly why we can get them so cheap but they just pry right out and this little bms board is really easy to get pulled away and then just go through and cut all these okay get them all fair okay as you see i got a few here I'll do a few more and then I'll we'll kind of break those down farther and not make it a long boring video. You really, I'm sure you really don't want to watch me do the same thing over and over and over again. So just take your cutters, cut the wires, get them off. You don't want to any of that stuff or junk at it anyway. So anyways, so I got these. I'll show you. How basically I'll kind of break these down and then I get them ready and I'll, I'll use a Dremel tool and I'm using a Dremel with a diamond circular disc and this sucker has worked wonders as far as uh, getting batteries that's been spot welded just getting this spot weld off and get having a good clean surface so uh, these right here usually I'll pull up and it gets a lot of that off okay so it separates these two just lay it to the side pull them off okay so you're down to the point where you just have a, a few cells and it's easy because this right here has not been spot welded this is so that goes away all the way across so you can just pull up and break that loose so same way here pull it off you can just separate it down to where it's just a few cells okay pull that one down there okay so when I get them down to this point <clears throat> of course there's a few a little bit of debris here we gotta get rid of it's just those little separators and uh <clears throat> then I'll take my side cuts and uh, usually I'll go through as I clean them up I'll get all the tape and the stickers and stuff off but just for this video I'm not going to go through that much trouble and uh, I'm just going to peel off the spot welded metal okay this is nickel plating so then all you got left is just some little sharp barbs, which you gotta be careful with, they'll, they'll get you. And uh, so throw them in a box or container or whatever you wish, and that's about it. So do a little pry. Usually if you get all that off, then when you hit that with the Dremel, it just comes off super quick. Okay, so as you can see, get my position here. So anyways, just that fast guys. And then I usually get clean all the tape off, make sure that's all cleaned up. 
and uh, of course we'll throw your debris in your box. Usually I do this all at the same time, but anyways, peel that off, peel that off, ready to go. Finish getting your tape off later, or you can do it now, however you wish. I usually do it all at one time, but just for this video I'm just kind of... These right here are a good set of level cutters, okay, these are Dorwell. I got them online, didn't get but like eight, ten bucks maybe at the most. But those has been really handy, especially if you need to, you're doing any soldering and you need to nip some wires off just almost flush with the PC board, which I was, when I was doing the PC type setup as far as the Jehu boards, uh, it really came in handy when I was doing the state of charge well, soldering. And there is a lot of soldering with that, which kind of one of the reasons I'm kind of leaning away from it, the expense. Uh, you know, for $600, you can get a Batrium, and uh, it can be expanded tremendously for not a lot of money. And the bigger I make my system, then I'm going to be running in lots of money. I really thought, well, I, you know, is there a better way? And then did a lot of research, looked at some of the other guys' setups. So that's kind of why I'm switching to this style. Uh, nothing wrong with his, it worked well. Um, you know, for the time when I was first getting into this, it um, seemed like the best option. But as I learned more and figured this out, to do it as one battery, which all these 150 cells, and this here is going to be you know, 4.1 volts or 4 volts, whatever I program my charge controller. So, and of course this will be seriesed up with six more, which will be a total of seven. So the voltage is gonna be exactly the same as what I've been running. Ain't gonna be any different. But, <clears throat> this way here with the Batrium, with that system is very good about the way it balances and maintains your batteries. The one I'm using now, it has to be charged up to a certain voltage, you know, almost full capacity before the, the BMSs will kick in and balance out the packs. So the Batrium basically can be balancing all the time. So whether you're discharging or charging, they're kind of set up to where they're, they're uh, can be balancing. And of course, the, the better you got your packs and then your cells balanced as far as uh, capacity and internal resistance, I think you're going to have a lot better, uh, you know, a lot easier balancing. And of course, the long bonds, by what I've seen, does the best job. Now, they do have one now that doesn't require the long bonds, but. To me, the Lomans have more balancing capacity, you know, more power. So, if you do for some reason have some an unbalanced pack, it's going to be able to do balancing quicker in less time, which is kind of what we need. You know, we're not we've got a lot of daylight, <clears throat> especially in the winter time. I'm here in Indiana, and. <coughs> I want to utilize as much of my backup power as possible as far as getting my batteries charged up for that night and be able to utilize um, the Batrium to get at them good and balanced while they're charging and while they're discharging. So not just ch while they're charging up which is how the other system is set up, so. And, until I find something better, that's how we're gonna go. And eventually in the future, maybe I can, uh, you know, turn this into something or other where I can help some other people do the same locally. Uh, trying to grow my channel. You know, I like doing a lot of stuff like this. Uh, I, do, I did design my own tracker and 
uh, we'll do more videos on it as I finish it and get it installed and uh, tweak it um, thinking it's going to work really well it's both a uh, two directional it will track north south east and west and it will have a anemometer on it so it will actually level out when we have a storm and we get a lot of wind around here which is in the summertime can be fairly frequent or spring as well april is the prime tornado season for this area so unfortunately that's when uh, things get quite windy storms roll through temperatures are changing uh, transitioning from the spring to or the winter to spring weather so we get a lot of warm fronts coming through as the seasons change and then of course then it spins up some thunderstorms which in turn gives us some uh, tornado action unfortunately um, there's been minimal damage in our area over the years but there's been a multitude of tornadoes sighted and, and they just most of them stayed aloft or they didn't stay on the ground for long and do, didn't do super a lot of damage but they have done some property damage around the area so anyways that's kind of the gist of it guys rip them apart this isn't about the best way I have found to break these up so now basically what I do is take my Dremel like I said I got a it's a diamond disc and uh, I'll use it in the bottom Just like that, four of them done. Okay, I'm 13 minutes into this video, guys. I'm gonna cut it short. Like, subscribe, comment, and uh, enjoy your DIY projects and power walls, and we'll talk to you later. This is Quentin, signing out.